We're given a hypothetical reaction between A and B turning into C. We're told this is a reversible reaction, and we're asked to draw the energy profile. Let's put potential energy on the y-axis and the reaction progress on the x. Now, we can see that the total energy change is negative 20 kilojoules. So this is an exothermic reaction in the forward direction because uh, the system is losing energy. So we'll draw the reactants fairly high up in this energy profile. A and B. It's going to have some amount of activation energy. It's going to end up much farther down. And there's our product, C. The energy required to start this reaction is the difference between the energy of the reactants to the top of the activation energy hill. And so that's known as the activation energy. We're told that that's 5 kilojoules in the forward direction. So the change in energy from the reactants to the products, we'll call that delta H for now. We'll get more into that when we get to thermochemistry. is negative 20 kilojoules. So that's it. That's an exothermic reaction. This reaction is releasing energy. Now let's consider the reverse reaction, where C turns into A and B. So the delta H here, the change in energy between the reactants and the products, is positive 20 kilojoules. So that's an endothermic reaction. It's going to absorb that amount of energy. Now the activation energy is from the energy of the reactant, in this case C, to the top of that activation energy hill, that barrier. So the activation energy in the reverse direction is 25 kilojoules because the total height of this peak from the reactants to the products is the 20 plus the 5.